Sport, make sure you tell them not to buy princes in the suburbs Melbourne and we made it our mission to keep breaking records Do it all for better cause, change lives Alright guys, so here we are Finally, after a very long and tedious six months <laughs> The podcast room is done So, I so thought what better way to get my beautiful fiance on the test it out um, Oh, stop it So, we did a bit of a QA and a on Instagram And we got some people to send in some questions and stuff um, and we'll just have a bit of a chat, try and answer through them. Chit chat, dis that. Chit chat, dis that. <laughs> Hopefully she answers correctly and says nice things. Hopefully you do. Well, you'll, I'm gonna you'll get throw kicked. you under the bus if you start lying. You'll get Because we know you like to tweak the stories a little bit <laughs> here be, and there. You'll be booted from the podcast. <laughs> Whatever. I'll do the edits. I'll boot you. I'll mute you. I'll take over. <laughs> <laughs> I need a candy. Tw- um, what is it called? <laughs> Chit chat, dis that. <laughs> <laughs> so, um... Yeah, this is the test run. It might not be perfect, but uh, we'll see how we go. So what do you reckon, babe? We, I've got a few questions here. So what are we starting with? Questions that people are asking us? Yeah, I've got a few okay. questions here. Yeah. All right, let's have a look. I'm going to start. Oh, I'll just start backwards and straight in the deep end. Do we have similar political opinions and how does that affect our relationship? I would say we're pretty spot on with that, hey? Yeah, through... Um, well, the pandemic was one. Yeah. <laughs> Luckily, man, I feel sorry for people that... That would be on different, like... Fuck, imagine having a partner that doesn't have the same belief with you around COVID and stuff. Yeah, it would be... It would have been some big arguments. Yeah. But, no, nah, we were the same thing. And uh, even packing up and leaving Melbourne, that could have been a huge thing. Like, yeah. I, I needed to get out of there. Yeah. And if she was like, no, nah, I'm not leaving... Mm. <laughs> <laughs> it could have got it could have got ugly so yeah whether it's um you know we're both trump supporters we're <laughs> we both hate dan andrews we both like andrew tate yeah yeah so that's not really politics but yeah it's still the same thing you yeah. can butt heads and morals and stuff we're very same with morals and yeah stuff so that was I actually a good so. question eh? yeah um how do you keep the spark alive Date nights. Date nights. <laughs> date nights. Troy loves his date nights. Probably a little too much. So he tries to make them a little too regular. <laughs> but do you reckon date nights spark keep our spark alive? Yeah. Do they keep your spark alive? <laughs> yeah. <laughs> so um, a big transition from like, I guess, when we had Saint is before if we just fe- randomly felt like going out or doing something, we would just do it. And then we realized once we had Saint, uh, unless we actually put it in the calendar, organize someone to look after, they just didn't happen. So we probably went like a good six to nine months, really I not- I would say longer. Yeah, not spending time together. Yeah. Um, and that did, we did notice the spark go. Um, and then that, to be honest, we just synced our calendars. Yeah, that, that helped a lot, Worked syncing together. calendars booking things at like separate times yeah um so that was a big change i think yeah Um, but definitely our date nights help keep the spark alive um i don't know like we'll get on the piss together and just have a night between us it'll feel like the first times we met sort of thing so feel young again feel young again we are young babe (laughs) when we drive in your car together you're like i feel young again babe (laughs) yeah if date night happens we'll take the gdo or something (laughs) put some tunes on crank it all the stuff you can't do with a uh, with a kid in the car. So, um, <laughs> do you care that other men look at your wife online? <laughs> That's to me, I guess, isn't That's it? That's to you. Um, no, not really. She's pretty pretty. So, if they didn't want to look at her, I'd, I'd almost be a bit upset. <laughs> <laughs> I think it's like my cars. If people look at my cars online, but they can't drive it. <laughs> <laughs> Wow. <laughs> so no one can drive it, but you can look. That's fine. Um, will Saint get a brother or sister? Have you found it had to adjust your lifestyle since Saint? I want another baby ASAP. Troy wants another sibling for Saint, but he just struggles to get his head around the thought of adding another baby to the mix, mm. don't you? Saint's hard. And I think for us too, we're still co-sleeping. Yeah. Um, we're still Saint battling with Saint. <clears throat> yeah. We've only just finally, after <clears throat> almost three years, got 
family support up here. Yeah. My um, sister just moved up, which has been amazing for – my dad's always been really he's good, He's been though. amazing. He's been so good. But, but he obviously works a lot, works yeah. night shift. Yeah. Um, so, yeah, that was pretty hard for us. And then I think – oh, and, like – He's just getting to the fun stage where we can communicate and do mm. stuff. And I'm like, oh, shit, do I want to start again just now? Yeah, but you know you want another kid, right? Yeah, yeah. So why wouldn't you just want to smash it out? Because I was going to wait till Saints 18 and then he can look after oh, it. Oh, shut up. <laughs> uh, but yes, he's going to get a... Yeah. Wait, look, look, brother or sister, we're just as long as they're healthy. But mm. ideally, I'd love a little girl. Yeah. Um. Your biggest highs and lows to date, your relationship on Vice, how you both work as a team. Um, I'd say our, probably our roughest time was maybe when you were pregnant. Do you reckon? Yeah. I would have said after saying. It might have been because you were hormonal too, but. I was so good. <laughs> oh nah. my God. But no, remember when you didn't know you were pregnant and you were crying every oh, day. Okay. Yeah. So when I was first pregnant, because I didn't find out till I was pregnant till like eight, eight weeks. Um, and we just moved up here though. So I thought I just had like you hectic depression. You thought you were alone and you had no friends. I thought I was hating the move. And, and then we Troy was out here people. living his best life. Like I'm never fucking going back to Melbourne. And I was like, well, hang on. We're going back to Melbourne. Like we said, we only come here for like a year or so. But Troy was like adamant, nah, there's no way we're ever going back. And so I was hormonal, didn't know I was pregnant, thought I was depressed, was missing all my friends and family. And then we were, and we couldn't see them because of the lockdown. Couldn't see them because of the lockdown. And then we were arguing because we I just really thought she was being dramatic. Eye and to eye. And then I found out I was pregnant and I was like, oh my God, <laughs> this makes so much sense. What's, what's a high in our... What's a high? Yeah. In our relationship. What does that, that was a low. What do you mean? Oh, like What's when it's been a high point yeah. in our relationship? Yeah. Probably when we got engaged. Yeah. Yeah. That was a very similar time. That was a night we conceived same. Yeah. Yeah. So it was yeah, so just it was before. Just, just the high just before the low. <laughs> so that was a high getting out of... Um, that was a bad. Getting out of Melbourne together. Yeah. After being locked down for six months, and come here, the sun's shining, we're living on no the water. No one even spoke about COVID here because, like, you, yeah. it wasn't really a thing. Well, it was obviously a thing, but they weren't locked down like Melbourne. Yeah, and I wanted to propose to her for ages in Melbourne because we are locked down. I couldn't. So as soon as we got here, I straight away booked the, um, the yacht and everything and went out to went Hamilton to Island. Hamilton Island, which even that in itself was sick. And then having all our friends mm. surprised me. That was, a, yeah, that was a really good time in our relationship. My answer would have been just every day with you, but. Same. <laughs> <laughs> Same. Oh, uh, gosh. Is Anita Maori? <laughs> Am I? Yes. My dad is. Yeah. So we go back to New Zealand every couple of years to a family reunion. Yeah. Her dad's side's Maori. Yeah. Um, I know some words. Say them. Kia ora. Kia ora. <laughs> <laughs> you know more. Um, I'm a bit rusty, aren't I? <laughs> um, but yes, 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 she is. All right, let's see what other questions we got. How did you guys make time for each other while growing so fast in business individually? That's a good question because, mm, yeah. We probably didn't for a while. Yeah, yeah. There was definitely some times where... We were arguing where she wanted to work on her stuff and I wanted to work on my stuff. Mm. We were looking after Saint. He wasn't in kindy. That's what instigated the synced calendars. Yeah. Remember? I yeah. was like, no, we'll, we're setting days of like who's doing what and who's going to have to watch Saint. Yeah, even if it's down to like her <laughs> getting her eyelashes done, I'll see it say it's 12 o'clock on a Wednesday and then if someone says, hey, Troy, can you be here at this time? I'll see that like, nah, um, let's do this time and then vice versa. Um. I swear sometimes she lies and like quickly adds something in the calendar and goes, oh, that, that was is always you. in That there. is you. That is actually you. <laughs> Babe, don't be doing this. Sometimes that- I, if it's something real where I know I fucked up, I'll. You do that so often where I was like, that was not in the calendar an hour ago. <laughs> and what I say, fuck? oh. Yes, it was. It yes, must it was. have been refreshed. What the hell? <laughs> but um, that's something we had to learn to work together. Um, teamwork for sure like yeah. running businesses having a kid yeah. keeping each other happy so iCloud calendar it is yeah um, 
when did I first realise, like, hold on, I might be onto something here. I don't know if he's talking about you or business. business. <laughs> <laughs> I don't know. Answer both or answer. Uh, both real quickly. I think business. I think he means business. If it was business, probably remember when the snorkels yeah. started taking yeah. off. Because, you know, I sort of growing up um, when I met her, even probably back in what was that, 2015 or 2016, 2016. Um, I was probably just paying myself a couple of grand a week, maybe. Mm. Um and then when the snorkel happened in 2019, we're doing like 40 grand a week. Yeah, that's when it really. And I was like, "Holy shit! I just earned what I earn in a year." Yeah. In 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 a couple of weeks, I was like, "That really opened my eyes." Like, shit, maybe I'll be able to make good money. Yeah, and then that's obviously what led you down the G up route as well. Yeah. Otherwise, if you're talking about Anita, um, instantly. Probably the first time she sucked it, I thought. <laughs> Hang on, I might be onto something here. <laughs> kidding, not kidding. Oh my god! Is this really a? a uh, is Anita all natural? Absolutely <laughs> fucking not. It'd probably be easy to list what is natural. Yeah, I don't think there's anything left on here. <laughs> Her legs are natural. My legs are actually they've been tattooed. But yeah, in terms of like surgeries, what have I had? <sighs> Boobs. BBL. Um, and then you just do lips. And fillers, then, yeah, I obviously do fillers. Which so. is, she wants a nose job, but that's not happening. I'd love a nose that's job. That's not happening. All righty. Let's have a look. I So people wanted us to play some games. <coughs> oh. So I'm going to start off with truth or drink. Actually, I'll I, get some drinks. Okay. Get some drinks. So truth or drink... Are you just asking me or are we doing it together? What do you want? Cotton do it candy? together. Oh, um, yeah, cotton candy. I really don't want to drink. It's like 11 a.m. It's 12 o'clock somewhere. What do you want, cotton candy? Mm-hmm. Oh, God. <laughs> Shit, is that fizzing? No, we're good. We good. All right, so if I don't want to answer the question, I just drink. Yeah. All right. All righty. Let's have a look. Da, da, da. All right. Who is your best friend? I feel like I've got a few. Well, you've got to pick one, otherwise you've got to drink. I'll drink. Don't want to hurt someone's feelings. <laughs> I knew that would work. Mm. Who's your best friend? <laughs> <laughs> it's hard. You don't have to like... <laughs> I love so many of my friends. Adrian. <laughs> <laughs> you just drank for no reason. <laughs> oh, I actually needed a drink. Your favourite sex position? When I can be bothered, cowgirl. <laughs> <laughs> that definitely feels the best for me. <laughs> Mm. What's yours? Yeah, we like when you have a little sit. <laughs> have you ever been in a fight? Physical fight? Yeah. Yeah, when I was younger. We had a little rough nut over here. Yeah, I was a little feral. <laughs> I was probably pretty feral when I was a teenager. <laughs> Not a lot, though. No. What about you? Yeah. You? Yeah, like full blown self defense, like. Said I didn't want to fight like 10 times. Oh, did you, what happened? Did they? I just, I just, yeah, this dude just whacked me. In, like I said, no. And then he hit my mate and I, uh, I tried to help my mate up and he punched me in the back of the head. Babe. So I just turned around and did smacked him. Did you smack him, him back? Okay. Yeah. Good yeah. boy. But then he fell to the ground and I ran and I got scared. <laughs> <laughs> thought, shit, he's dead. <laughs> um, what's something you've done that you still feel guilty about? <laughs> I'm just going to drink. Okay. What about you? Um, when you were saying you were sick and then I went fishing <laughs> and you had mastitis. <laughs> this was so <laughs> fucked, guys. This is bad. So if anyone that knows what mastitis is knows how bad it is, 
um, obviously you get it when you're breastfeeding and it's like, it's bad. Like women end up in hospital. I definitely should have gone to hospital and I was in bed like in a ball, shaking, hot, hot fevers, hot and cold. And like Satan was what, eight weeks, eight weeks old. So he was just sitting at the end of the bed and I was like, like, I literally was like dying. And he's like, uh, I'm just going to go fishing with Adrian. I was like, are you <laughs> fucking kidding me? I was like, I literally can't even get up to get safe. He's like, oh, I won't, I won't be long. I'm like, oh my God. Like I was bad, babe. That was really. Well, that's why I still feel bad about it. Okay, good. But we didn't know it was mastitis. I did. I said to you, I'm pretty sure I've got mastitis. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, but that's pretty far-fetched. Oh my God. <laughs> Well, I'm glad she still regret it to the state because I was even <laughs> like, wow. <laughs> um, what's your favourite porn to watch? Uh, I'm going to drink. <laughs> <laughs> uh, shit. <laughs> what's yours? Um, depends. Depends <laughs> how intoxicated I am. <laughs> <laughs> Just drink, babe. Just drink. <laughs> <laughs> mm. Oh, that's good. Um, who in our group has the most attractive parents? Got to think. Sammy's got some really like a really good good looking parents. Her mum's hot. Um, all of them are good looking. Kimmy's hot. Amy's. Well, if you mom, can't answer, yeah. it's who's the most attractive parents? Tracy. They're all good looking. I honestly think they're all good looking, so I can't choose one, so I'm going to drink. <laughs> Big drink. You haven't even got par... You know, give it a... <laughs> Otherwise, there's just no punishment more. Babe, you can, that's you haven't not even got far the neck. off yours. Yeah, but I've been answering questions. One more. Going to get you drunk. <laughs> um, I reckon Oscar's dad's good looking. Oh, yeah. Yep. Like, I reckon he's... He's a fucking real good looking dude. Like he looks young and fit. He and is. He's very fit, isn't he? Yeah. 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 So I'm not drinking. Um, don't know who has the hottest mum though. Or most attractive mum, sorry. Um, do you piss in the shower? No. You do though. <laughs> <laughs> and I hate it. I always yell at you for doing it. Sometimes. I will just... I, I always need to pee before the shower. I will go straight to the toilet first and then into the shower. But Troy, well, you'll pee in there when Saint's in there with you. And I hate it. Around him. I don't piss on him. I dodge. <sighs> I go straight in the hole. Um, what age did you lose your virginity? Uh, I think I was 17. All right. I didn't kiss a boy till year nine. What age did you lose yours? <sighs> um... I don't know, I think I was a bit young. Oh, maybe like either 14 or 15. That's normal. I think that's even like a bit late. <laughs> late? <laughs> what are you on about? Jesus. Have you ever been arrested? I'm drinking. <laughs> <laughs> well, I was under arrest when we got fake raided. Yeah, you've been arrested heaps. <clears throat> mm. Yeah, I've actually, for the dumbest <laughs> shit. I'm like the least criminal person. Yeah. I just reckon they get off and throw cuffs on me. All right. Let's go back to some more questions. <laughs> okay. All right. Well, actually, the next question is, can you guys do two truths and a lie? Okay, so I stuffed this up. So my first one, I have two lies and one truth. Two lies and one truth. Okay. Okay. Yeah. <laughs> Yeah. Um, I brought another handbag I haven't shown you. I stole your missing coat hangers <laughs> and I ran into the garage wall. Oh, shit. I hope none of them are true. <laughs> One of them's true. You stole my coat hangers, didn't you? No. Nah. <laughs> <laughs> What's true? I ran into the garage wall <laughs> in the buggy. <laughs> What wall? That one. I knew you did. <laughs> I fucking knew it. I got so scared. I'm like, I didn't do too much damage. It's just a little, I feel like you could buff it off. Because we let so many people use it. I just thought someone else did. <laughs> what, did it slide or 
Did you think you were in reverse? I went like, I thought I was in reverse and went full on, pal- like I thought I took <laughs> the wall out. That's just been fixed. I know, and that's why I was so scared and I never told you because I was like, I will not hear the end of it. I hate this game. I'm telling you stuff that I never would have told you. All right. Well, I've got two truths and a lie. Okay. I ate all of our Tim Tams this morning. (laughs) (laughs) I, I accidentally drove the buggy through the garage wall. I just... Spent 20k on the engine on the new VT. Well, I, I know you've driven through the wall. So there's one lie in there? Yeah. You didn't eat all the Tim Tams. <laughs> <laughs> you spent 20... <laughs> Is the lie you didn't eat the Tim Tams? <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> so you spent 20k on a fucking engine. <laughs> yeah. Oh, that's God nice. Damn. That's nice. That's not nice. Um... Okay, so the next one I did the two truths and one lie. Yep. Hang on, I need to figure out which one's a lie. <laughs> Wait, can maybe you go? <laughs> 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 I can't figure it out. So, <laughs> no, I did one truth and two lies. Okay, go. go. <laughs> okay. You're the good. No, mine are fucking bad. I'm doing it wrong. Oh, okay, no, yeah. So I've got one lie. Okay. Um, I used to be a dental nurse. Yeah. I accidentally scratched your car. <laughs> <laughs> and I made a big purchase on your Amex recently. Oh, my God. <laughs> Is one a lie? One's a lie. I think you were a dental nurse. <laughs> So either my car's scratched or you just brought something on the Amex. You didn't scratch my car. No, I didn't. So, <laughs> that was a lie. So we just got a big purchase on the Amex. Yeah. <sighs> Maybe we won't play this game anymore. <laughs> You're getting angry, aren't you? <laughs> you found out I made a big purchase on the Amex and I smashed through the garage wall. Uh, it's just another day with you, isn't it? <laughs> All right, you ready? <coughs> yeah. <coughs> <laughs> what? <laughs> so wait, is there one lie? Two truths, one Two lie. Truths, I Sometimes I say Saint farted, but it was actually me. <laughs> That's a <laughs> good truth. I have share my location on so I can quickly see if I have time to rub one out before you get home. That's also the truth. <laughs> Sometimes I talk to you on your OnlyFans pretending to be a random. <laughs> That's a lie. <laughs> Is that not a fucking lie? I was going to say. (laughs) (laughs) Oh, shit. I only got that because I definitely knew the other two were 100% true. Oh, damn it. You told me that, babe. You always say I had to check your location because I wanted to quickly rub one out. (laughs) Best thing ever, guys. Um you still do it when I'm in the house with you, though. How do you do? How do you manage that? I put on find my thing, and it says meters. How many meters away oh, you are? Oh my god! I didn't know that. A little bit. That's of what it did. It didn't make sense to me. Um. <coughs> all right. How many original friends you still have before you guys grew your business? Oh my god! We literally spoke on this yesterday. Yeah. Troy found an old group chat. Um, on Instagram, and we were just like, "Holy shit!" Yeah, it's um, <clears throat> it's crazy. And that's only like a few years ago. Yeah, it's crazy how much time, <clears throat> how how quick tight things can change, mm. priorities change, lifestyle changes, um, and it's. I think it's probably one of the hardest things has been to like know when it's time to sort of man up and. Just stop. Cut a friendship. Yeah, cut a yeah. friendship. Like, because it sounds so mean and, you know, don't like confrontation and blah, 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 blah. But at the same time, if you've got places to go, things to do, it is very hard to... If you've got, you got people that are hanging out, like, with, you know, small goals and you've got big goals or 
you got people want to party and you don't want to party or you do want to party and they don't. It's It gets very like... And Troy never used to be able to say no either. Like he would have a dinner... Every single every night. Every single night. And then he also would have to mingle friends because he'd say yes to this friend and that friend. So then they would all go to dinner. That's how mainly a lot of your group started as well. Pro- because pretty much all... I think like even like... Um, my like now close, close group. Friends, that's like, how they started. Um, Oscar, Panna, Nick. Well, I introduced them all together. Yeah. Yeah. Um, he, yeah, I think he did. Yeah, one of my older <laughs> mates, he, um, Nate, he always says like I was like the, the spider web. Just, yeah, you literally were. I just were. bring everyone together. And it's because he couldn't say no to everyone. So he'd say yes to everyone. He'd double book, but he'd still be like... Like he just mixed the groups. If you want to do dinner, you've got to come mate's gonna with be my there, mate. And old mate and yeah. old mate. But. And then they would be friends. But yeah, you've definitely gotten better over the years, and now mm. you've just got your select few. Yeah, the circle's very small now. What about you? You've got you. You don't have that I've many friends. I've always been the same. Where I probably always only have my select few. Hey. Yeah. Yeah. You've. I'm not as much as a social butterfly as you, not at all. Oh, in saying that, when I was hanging out with everyone, you started to too. Like you met Lauren. Um, yep, I met Lauren through you. Amy, I've always like known. grown up with. Yeah. But yeah, I met like a lot of my friends through you. Yeah. But definitely even got closer from Amy once me and Panna started hanging out and stuff. Yeah, 100%. Because um, us four would hang out. Yeah. There you go. Um, how will you protect Saint from bullying as he gets older? That's like. Bash him. <laughs> That's one thing we worked out. What's worse, for your kid to get bullied or be the bully, you know? Like, I would rather him be bullied. I don't want him to be a bully. Yeah, but I then would... you don't want him to be bullied like his kids like yeah. off themselves and stuff. Like, mm. um, Honestly, well, I don't know how I would deal with it. I could see me being that mum that would like... Kick the door down in the school and yeah. whose kid is this? <laughs> yeah. You would be. Um, I think the other thing too, the changes for us when we were in school, like a bully was someone that was big and strong and they'd punch you in the head now a bully makes a fake instagram page or a fake facebook and makes a fake group about someone like some of the stories i hear through some of my friends kids are oh, you know she's she doesn't want to go back to school someone made a facebook about her saying she has stupid hair or this and that like they can fully hide now whereas bullying bu- is out of control these days yeah we used to be able to like if, if there was a bully they had to come to your face and yeah bully they her. always had a face to them like yeah. nowadays you can just be behind but the screen you know what all you can do is try um make sure he's not a bully Mm. and then have really good communication so hopefully if he is being bullied he speaks up about it but i think number one is to give him as much self-confidence as possible so that if someone does bully him like because it all happens to us when you're when you're 16 someone says something about you you take it on board you care you know oh you got shit clothes you know, you got fucking big ears, you got this, you get really upset about it. And then it's like when you hit this older age, you don't give a fuck what people say anymore. So like... If you know any- your self-worth, you know that it's yeah. like... If there's any way to speed that up maybe and, you know, yeah. have him confident. So if someone says, oh, you know, you got fucking stupid hair and he's like, I don't care, I'm a sick cunt. Like, <laughs> shut up. I actually feel like Saint will be like that. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, he will be. He'll be a little fucking G. <laughs> as long as he's not the bully. Yeah. Um... <coughs> Plans for the future, kids, house renovations, cars. Um, well, you've got your new dream car. I do. So that's ticked off. Yeah. You need to get yours this year. Yep. I want an S63. Um, I love all my cammed HSV and stuff, but I think I'm getting old. I don't know if I can drive them every day. Um, I really like, you know, hopping something with Apple Play, heated and cooled seats, Blah, blah, blah. You prefer to drive my cars always, I noticed. Yeah, yeah. Definitely the Jag. I love the Jag. Yeah, and the G. Yeah, but the Jag was all like yeah, you touch screen, the Jag. Yeah, you did. automated, yeah. fucking everything. It was hectic. Um, and plus, where we live now is like very old person area. And I just... They don't like him. Yeah, some lady ran out in the street squirting me with um, weed killer. And she's like, turn your car down. I was like, okay. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Yeah. Um, She's like, so loud. And what, meanwhile, Saints in the back just like. <laughs> <laughs> um, You'll get that. House renovations. Yeah, we, we've still got a fair bit to go to the house. Yeah. We still haven't fully furnished it. There's like, there's things missing off all the walls and mm. blah, blah. But, you know. We need to get a lot of styling done still. Um, there's still a few bits and pieces we would like to do at the house for sure. Yeah. We're Up- slowly chipping away at it. It's a bit old. Yeah, so. it is a bit older. So we'll get uh, there. 
And kids, as we said before, we want to... We'd like one more. One more. What what drew you to me when we first met? Your, um, how funny you are. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> and my good looks. More how funny you are. <laughs> no, definitely. You were definitely the one, you know, making everyone laugh in the room. Still am. Still am. What do they call it? Like the class clown. That would have been you for sure. 100%. Um... Do you want me to answer? Yeah. What do you do to me? I don't know, you were, hey. You were just fun. You were just, you know, all club hopping and you were just bopping around. You were friendly and bubbly and like, you were like, <coughs> what's the opposite to snobby? You were like. Down to earth? Yeah, you are super down to earth. Mm. And I like that. I think that's why we hung out so much mm. after, you know. Do you guys suffer from, do you guys ever suffer mentally from the raid, like PTSD and stuff? I do for Saint because of Saint. I feel like if Saint wasn't in that situation, <clears throat> it wouldn't have been so like traumatic or whatever for me. Mm. But I reckon a lot of, that's a lot of reason why I hate Saint not being in our room at night. Um, and even with his bedroom, like it definitely can't be too far away from ours. And I reckon I, it's because of that. I reckon I've still like got PTSD. Like, like where we are is very secure estate. So there's like security come like five times a day to check on you. And then sometimes, you know, if your garage is open or gate's not locked, they'll come and knock on your door to say, hey, your garage is open or blah, blah. And fuck, every time because they're in a fluoro vest and they look like cops and I hear them knock at the door and I just, I'm like, fuck, I'm about to get shit kicked out of me. <laughs> <laughs> Tackle to the floor for fucking nothing. Yeah, so I reckon I definitely do. Or if I hear a noise at night, like a bang, I'm just like, fuck. I'm always super, super on edge about just how we have no privacy as well. Like, you know, I hate the fact that I know because they've done it so many times with us, like even coming back into the air- airport and like taking our phones and downloading everything. Mm. Like I just am always on edge about knowing that I have no privacy ever in my life. Yeah. Um, in your wildest dreams, did you ever imagine achieving what you both have? Mm, yeah. Really? What, do you, what does that mean? <laughs> Like, to be honest, I didn't. I, I had goals, but not this big. Oh, yeah. I didn't ever think. Like, our last house, I was like, this is our forever home. Like, yeah. this is epic. So, I mean, yeah, okay, no. Actually, I saw um, Adam from um, ABT the other day. He was talking yeah. on his story about, like, why he doesn't set long-term goals. And it's because shit can change so quick. So quick. Like, my goals five years ago would be nowhere near as big as this. Mm. And five years before that, again and again. Um, but... I think like our short-term goals, we just keep upping them mm. bigger and bigger. Yeah. But yeah, I remember when we moved into our last house, we that was just way, like, and we bit off way more than we could yeah, chew. Yeah, and we even when we looked at it, like we wanted it so bad, but we're like, this is so outside of our means. Like, yeah. And then we got it. We were like, holy fucking shit. We ate noodles for a week. I was like, what the hell? We were just like, as if this is our house. Yeah, it was nuts. Um so now, like, nothing surprises me. Like, if mm. I want to say that, you know, we want a fucking 80-foot yacht soon. I believe it. Yeah. Yeah, I always believe it. Yeah. yeah. Whereas old me, I'll be like, nah. No only, way. Only, like, rich people or, like, I remember when we started- We just ha- weren't ever in that bracket where we, like, we didn't grow up with money. Yeah, we just, mums and dads, friends didn't have money. Yeah, we were like, never we, around didn't, it. we weren't even around it. Like, remember yeah. when we started we hanging out- We didn't even out. have, like, that rich- oh. Remember when we started hanging out with Chris Shaw? Yeah, that was epic. And it we was were like, like, this guy's fucking on another level. He'd be like, oh, take the G-Wagon so you can take Anita out for dinner. And I was just like, fuck, imagine like he one day. You, he gave you his Lambo, remember? Yeah. And you picked me up in it. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah, he just gave me the gold Lambo. Might have said it was mine. I think you did. <laughs> no. <laughs> <laughs> no, you didn't. You didn't. That would have been fucking no, ick funny, if you did. <laughs> funny story. No, I think I... Th- you didn't say it was yours. But I no. didn't say it wasn't. No. Yeah, what, you weren't like, this is my friend's car, but like. No, what happened is, and then we got back and then I had a, the gold Ferrari and you're yeah. like, why aren't we driving that? Because it's convertible. And I was like, fuck, I actually went and borrowed Chris's car because it's better than my Ferrari. And then we rocked up and then you saw the Ferrari. And you're yeah, like, but I wouldn't have known the difference of what was better. I know, that's what I mean. So I was like, fuck, that was a waste of time. <laughs> but um, yeah, there you go. Most important question, how having a child has changed both your lives um fuck it's changed completely Mm. definitely selflessness like 
I'm I'm not like I was a lot selfish before. Now like everything I do is for him or you. Um and same as looking at cars, you know, there's so many cool cars I want, but I'm like, uh I can't see Saint fitting in the back of that or yeah. um I still can't get over the fact that both when we first met we both didn't want kids and then when we had Saint I was like, Oh my god, I could not imagine life without him. Like Yeah. It's um yeah, I thought I had purpose before. Yeah, and but then he back really I, yeah, gives you the yeah, purpose. Yeah, he actually gives gives purpose. Even to the point where I think like, you know, even me buying your dream car before mine, like yeah. if you didn't have Saint, I would just bought a Ferrari. Yeah. But I'm like, well, why would I go buy my dream car that they can't even come in it? Mm. And then I get hers, he's safe in it, it's a good mm. car. It's, you know, yeah. from cars to the house, like... This house was well more than what we could afford, but it's a huge backyard for him. It's, you know, living on the water wigged me out a bit with him. Yeah. And it's got definitely. heaps of room to play here. Yeah. Um, and then to even me doing dumb shit, like I do dumb shit, but like before, fuck, I used to do some dumb shit. Like I know, super you still do shit. a few, like you still do a little bit. But yeah, but you'd catch me at roof surfing a VT while we're smashing them up yeah, and shit. True. Like now I'd be like, fuck. If I hurt myself or kill myself, yeah, he's gonna have no one around. Um, even me getting back in the gym and stuff, you know, I just want to be fit with him. I want to be able to go motorbike riding, drifting. I want to. I think it's like completely yeah, changed lives for sure. Um, and even like what we like, like we used to like going out. Now we couldn't give a fuck. We'd, <sighs> like nothing better than like the weekend come, no plans, put a movie on. Mm. Like it's the best. Um. <clears throat> did Anita always have a love of cars? Would she ever have a crack at the track? Send it, lol. I don't know if I've ever had a love of cars. Oh, you love cars. You love the G. Oh, yeah, yeah. No, yeah, yeah. Not to the point where, like, I wouldn't know what all your cars are. No, but you didn't care about cars when I met you. No. You had a Mazda 3. Yeah, but back then, my dream car was still always a G-Wagon. Yeah. But now you're like, I want... I want the exhaust done because you know it cracks and pops. Yeah, I and like when cars are loud and yeah, yeah. I feel like you'd like, you've definitely come to liking cars Yeah, more. remember we did yeah. like your, we did your, we got rid of the Mazda and I think we did the Beamer and we wrapped it pearl gold. Yeah. And then we did my, I think I got a Mercedes after that. Yeah, with that. the rose gold. Yeah. Then did we do the Range Rover? Yes. With the Versace. The Versace. And then we did, sold that, got the GLE, and you love the yeah, GLE. Yeah, I love the GLE. Um, yeah. And then we got rid of the GLE, got the Jag, got rid of the Jag, got that. Got the Jag. Shit, you've, I've been through a lot of cars. Yeah. What do you think you have? Um, and? And she did, she, I reckon she'd have a track of the crack. She sent the Camaro and the GDSR. Yeah. What happened with the GDSR? I got fucking done for it because you posted all over social media. And even though we're in a quiet, um, what do you call that place? Like an industrial. industrial. Yeah. um, The police came knocking on the door and I was like so chill because I thought, oh, they're here for Troy. He's not here. (laughs) And they're like, Anita Cass. And I'm like, yeah, like, why are you asking for me? They're like, can you step outside? And then had a photo of like the car and like doing the, the burnout or whatever and I was like are you kidding me the amount of burnouts <laughs> Troy does that was like my second one ever wasn't it or first yeah but I do mine in Mexico yeah <laughs> but to be fair I didn't put your face on it they said it was your nails my nails and my tracksuit gave it away they said and then they went to the location where it was and asked for the cameras but that's Australia, guys. You get robbed and they can't help you. But, but they will chase up. Your missus does a burnout in the industrial estate on a Sunday with no one around and fuck me. They full will crime go full squad. Crime, crime squad. <laughs> Went through the house, took um, the car. Yeah. It was fucking and wild. And I got a. Um, what did I get for that? I can't remember. I think you lost your license. Yeah. 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 But we moved. By the time you lost it, we moved. That was a chair on the top for me where I was like, I want to get the fuck out of Melbourne. Like. Yeah. Yeah, same for they, me. Yeah. Remember when I was sitting out the front of the workshop because we were trying to work on my cars in COVID mm. and they blocked off the driveway and they were saying, yeah, come out, we know out. you're in there. <laughs> I'm like, fuck. <laughs> Sorry for working. <laughs> Not joint. Fuck me. Um, 
Does Anita ever get jealous of the girls that are around you guys and vice versa? By the way, love you both. Uh, no, I don't think so because all the girls we're around are always like – I've never had a girl – be super disrespectful i would say like mm. and obviously i'm very trusting of troy as well so i know he's not out there trying to get girls attentions and i'm someone who i get along with like every girl don't i mm. like i don't really not get along with people so yep nah, you're good at getting along with girls i wouldn't say so do you get jealous no nah, like same thing as like what people say oh you know she's wearing this she's wearing that i, I trust her and you know, people go, oh, but you can't trust the other people. But, like, Anita's pretty good judge of character and knows what's going on and mm. doesn't get fucking absolutely blackout intoxicated unless she's just with me. So, I trust <laughs> <laughs> um, Actually, someone said to play Fuck, Marry, Kill. Oh, this one, I'm not, I don't have good ones for this. I'm not excited about this. What do you want me to ask you then? Yeah, okay, you ask me. All right, fuck, Mary kill. Me, Adrian, Sam Parks. <laughs> <laughs> okay, I'd marry you, fuck Sam, and kill Adrian. <laughs> <laughs> you wouldn't marry Adrian? Baby, I'd marry you. Mm. Lucky you're not asking the other questions. <laughs> <laughs> what would yours be out of that? But I'm you. I'd marry Adrian, fuck you, and kill Sam. Yeah, see, because I, I just did the same but with my friend. If Adrian's a billionaire, wouldn't we even marry a billionaire? <laughs> that does sound nice. <laughs> <laughs> okay. Who out of Chris Hemsworth, Justin Bieber, or Ryan Gosling? Who was the first one? Chris Hemsworth, Justin right. Bieber, Ryan Gosling. Oh, they're good. <laughs> Calm down. <laughs> um, I would marry Chris Hemsworth. I feel like he seems like a really good dad. He does. He um, seems like a real down earth bloke. Yeah. I'd probably fuck Justin Bieber and kill Ryan. <laughs> really? Yeah. Yep. I thought Ryan really did it for you, but no. No, nah. that's Tom Hardy. Oh, fuck. If Damn you it. had Tom Hardy in there, it'd be different. You would have killed Biebs. Yeah. Ooh, yeah. I'd fuck Justin Bieber. Um, <laughs> I know you would. Me, Drake, Snoop Dogg. Fuck you. <laughs> Marry Drake and kill Snoop Dogg. Poor Snoop. He's like one of the last I OGs. Know, but I can't kill you, babe. I just feel bad killing you. You could kill Drake. Snoop's one of the last OGs. I love, oh, you know I love Drake. Yeah, but Snoop. I know. I feel bad, but... You want to kill the Snoop Dizzle? <laughs> All right. Have you got any or not? I had one, but, like, I feel like it's not that good. <laughs> Matt from Prestige Rentals. <laughs> Adrian and Oscar. I don't want to fuck blokes or marry blokes or kill blokes. But I'd fuck Oscar, marry Adrian and kill Matt. <laughs> <laughs> we need to tell the background behind that. So we went out for lunch one day with my buddy Matt from Prestige Rentals. and um, We were playing fuck, marry, kill with a few, a few of us. And Matt kept coming into every equation and every equation he getting kept killed. getting killed. <laughs> every single and he time. fucking lost it. He's like, I'm going to fucking turn. Why do you want to kill me? But to be fair, he was up against some tough competition. Yeah, so he I was. I only had that just because of the... Lol of Matt. <laughs> <laughs> oh, gosh. Let's go back into some questions here. Du, 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 du. Life as a couple. How you juggle life, time together, and work and fam time. Um, me personally, I think Tuesdays is our saint day. That's the day saints not at kindy. So we hang out with saint. We try and do an activity. Weekends are on and off. So I feel like you still need to get this down pat a bit with weekends. You still work a bit through the weekends. Yeah, she yeah. But always grind a baby. <laughs> but look, lucky I can work from home and be around. Yeah. You know? I, I actually said this to my mates, I'm like, fuck. I take my hat off to all the blokes that work six AM to six PM every day. 
because their kid would be pretty much asleep when they leave and possibly asleep when they get home. Yeah, You'd look that forward would be so to the hard. weekends yeah. or even worse, FIFO with family. Take my hat off to those blokes. Like I work from home. So if I'm in this office and I miss my boy, I just run inside, say hi, rouse him up a bit and boot. <laughs> yeah, you like to do that. <laughs> um, but I fucking miss him like within the hour. So shout out to all the blokes putting the bread on the table and working those those hours and those jobs because, yeah, it's uh, it's hard. But I try and do weekends uh, alternative between work. So I'll have work events. So like we go to Canberra or, you know, Melbourne or this or that for like um, exhibitions or promos or launches. Then I have obviously a social life too. So we've got friends' birthdays or parties or work and and some functions we can sort of blend in together so i'll throw like a g out party but catch up with friends at the same time so that's good yeah um and then like we love like just a quiet weekend and then we'll just have like a a weekend for you and i so it's probably divided up between all that which is hard yeah um what about you what about me (laughs) when do you work you just chip away you don't really set hours do you yeah nah mine's not like yours it's definitely more free flow just when you get a message a whatsapp a yeah. call jump on yeah um how is the TV and how are you finding parenting good and bad share your thoughts well we've got a new TV Troy didn't want to buy a new one he literally was like that's no. it we're not replacing it <laughs> you said that I said I'll buy a, a, a high son. At the start, you said you're not replacing it. Well, I don't care. I don't watch TV. <laughs> and then you said, yeah, we could get like a little high sense or whatever. Um, but we replaced it. So good and bad on parenting. Good good and bad. Good parts and bad parts. Mm. Um, mm, all the little moments of first times, like, you know, when he, like for the first mm. time he does something. Oh my God. That is like... You cry every single time. Yeah, yep. I'm, about, I'm, crying, I'm about to cry thinking about it. <laughs> he literally, you cry a lot with Saint. It's, it's cute. I think I need to go get me hormones checked. It's really cute. Um, <clears throat> they are definitely just absolute highlights. Yeah, when he says like something funny or <clears throat> says something or he just does like now he's going to the fridge and pulls his milk out and grabs his bottle and he's like, Mama, I want milk. And yeah. it's like... Oh, I'm sorry, mama. Oh, it's like... And like seeing like a little bit of your like yourself, like your personality traits or your mm. partners in them, um, that's always, that always hits as well. Yeah, I agree. That's probably mine. <laughs> and then probably worst is like when you're already flustered with like exhaustion, uh, work, mm. and then he has a meltdown. Yeah. And Just learning the patience of the parent. It's hard to have the patience. Mm. Um or like when he just goes into an uncontrollable screaming fit, like the screaming and it like, it only lasts short, but like, you know, when those days where you just, everything pisses him off, like he wants milk. Yeah. So you give him milk and then a drop of milk lands on him and then that pisses him off. And then, and then you, you he wants it wiped up and you try and wipe it up and then that pisses him off. <laughs> and it's like, you're just like, oh man, yeah. stop. Uh, we did for a second think he had like, behavioral issues hey because he was just going through a wild yeah. stage of just always having tantrums and meltdowns but he's just a little boy like we've caught mm. up with other friends that have little boys as well and they're like oh my god we thought we were going crazy but like they're just growing little boys they yep. have their meltdowns but they do it's all worth it still all worth it in the end life on the gc compared to melbourne um, GC weather wise like is obviously so much better. Um, lifestyle is better. Like I love the whole how we wake up heaps earlier and go to bed heaps earlier. Like mm. I'm in we're in bed by what, seven thirty? Yeah, that's a big adjustment. Like coming from Melbourne, like Normal we used, we used to get dinner at seven thirty. Yeah. Now sometimes we're ordering off Uber at four. Yeah. I'll be cooking dinner some days at like three thirty. I'm like, holy shit. Some days we have to wait for the restaurant to open, like to yeah. order food. Yeah. The kitchen's closed. Um, um, but yeah, it's completely different here. Like every time people come up, they're like, "What the hell? Are you guys are bed so early, up so early." It's like the sun in summer. The sun's up at four thirty, but we love it in Melbourne. I was really, I always been like a hustler, 
But my motivation here is just like, it is so much easier to get out of bed at 4.30 in the morning when it's sunny, warm. In Melbourne, it's like dark till 8 a.m. It's raining sideways. You get out and your spine hurts in winter. Like, it's like your back sore. Do you know what's weird as well? I just had like a little thought. In Melbourne, you used to play like a lot of... Um, video games. Yeah, you've never played a video game no. since living on Gold Coast, ever. Well, I couldn't like, do shit. you haven't shit. even set up your whatever it's called, like Xbox. Yeah, I used to stream um, Twitch with like uh, Fortnite and Call of Duty. But like here, if, there's, if I get time to myself where I've got gap, I'll go take the bike for a ride, I'll take the boat out or take the drift car out or take the car. Like the I weather like here... there's a lot to do here, ...is yeah. just so much. And that's without take and saint for a ride or go 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 for a walk somewhere to park like there's just so much to do here whereas i feel like in melbourne it could literally rain for four weeks straight and like what can you do inside really so i just started streaming and we do miss our friends and family in melbourne though that's mm. probably definitely the hardest but we do spend better quality time with Way them better when we see them now because we don't always see them when they come <clears throat> up or we go down like we spend really good quality mm. time together yeah i um yeah, I can't see us ever moving back. It, it, it'll always be like, you know, where we grow up and we'll have that home. And to be honest, we both even say it, sometimes we miss it, but then we go back there and we just more, I think we just miss the memories we had there. Yeah. We don't actually miss, like, you know, I'm like, fuck, I miss Langy living in Langy. And then I drive through Langy and I'm like, uh. <laughs> Do I miss Langy? I don't miss Langy. <laughs> I miss the memories I had there, you know, growing up there and having a good time and you're the same with, you know, Scoresby and stuff. Yeah. Um, but yeah, love all our friends and hopefully everyone could just move up here and then there's That's no- That's our game plan. We're trying to slowly convince everyone to move up and it's going well. My sister just moved up. Yeah. Um, I reckon a few of our friends that have a goal to have a holiday house up here within the next like 18 months, so- We just got to make millions and millions and then just buy some holiday house up here for our friends. Yeah. Let's that'll, do that. That'll be that. But yes, uh, won't be going back and love the adjustment up here. Also, it's weird. It's really weird. And, and I keep saying this when I have conversations. I've noticed like everyone I hang around with, no one here, not that there's anything wrong with working a nine to five. Um, but for me, I don't, I never have. Well, I did, but I won't again. Um, and everyone around me here doesn't. Everyone's like got their own hustle works their own they've got their own brand got their own business got their own that and a lot of them aren't from Gold Coast they've all moved to the Gold Coast but I found having myself in that network and that circle is a big eye opener for like mm-hmm. ideas and, and hustling and you know everyone's doing really well so um, I think that's pretty cool like it's I've never really gone to an area where so many little people entrepreneurs up here everyone's got a fucking Lambo and everyone's <laughs> got a fucking you know like where I was from I had the you know one or two mates with a Lambo and that was like a big thing mm. how crazy is it here like everyone's got a fucking massive house a boat yeah. Lambos fucking whatever which isn't everything but it's um, it's if you're hanging around with deadbeats you're gonna be a deadbeat if you're hanging around with you know bosses you're gonna be a boss it's like you are your circle yeah, so not that the circle we have was wrong, but I've got to network so much more and, and really um, I think it's helped us level up for sure. Mm. Um, let's have a look. Oh, we're getting through the questions. Do, do, do. How did you guys meet? We met at a bar on the old, Chapel Street. The old-fashioned way. No, no <laughs> Tinder. No Tinder here. No, we met. Did you ever had, have Tinder? No. No, neither. I think we just missed out. Yeah, we just like missed the whole dating apps thing. Yeah, fuck, I would have done some damage on that. <laughs> My God. <laughs> Same. <laughs> oh. <laughs> um, yeah, we met at a bar. Yep, so... I had a buddy, Mitch. She had a buddy, Alicia. Mm-hmm. Um, you were out with Mitch. I was out with Alicia. We just met so up. Naturally, they said, hey, come out. Double date. Um, no, they didn't even say that. It was like you were out with Mitch. You were doing your – like we, we didn't intend to meet up with you guys, but they were. she was like, oh, Mitch is down at SOS. Like, let's go see that's him. That's it. Chapel Street. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And yeah. Um, so we just rocked up and then we met. You nearly gave me to your friend. You nearly just threw in the towel. <laughs> yeah. One of my friends wanted to hook up with him. So I was like, yep, yeah, go for gold. But he obviously couldn't keep his little mitts away from me. And so then it made was, it awkward. It made it awkward. So – then I remember she cracked it and she's like, I'm going home. And I was like, yeah, I'll come with you. And I went to she try and get- She just got blind. She's like, I'm too blind. I've got to go home. 
Um, and then I she, went to get you in. You went to get in. She's like, "No, nah, you stay with him." Yeah, probably a good thing she did that. I don't reckon we would have like nah. met up again. We weren't like, I don't know. Like we didn't exchange details or anything. No, I um, I didn't even uh, I didn't even get your number or no, you didn't. nothing. <laughs> you had to message Mitch the next day, didn't you? <laughs> Yeah, but long story short, we met, we went to bar, we bar hop, bar hop, bar hop, and then it was like 1 a.m. I'm like, fuck, let's book a hotel. <laughs> yeah. And then, boom, first night. First night. Didn't even go for dinner. But you took me for dinner the next time. <laughs> <laughs> so there you go. All right. Um, God. What is wrong with my phone? Here we go. Do you get pissed or jealous because of your missus only fans? How do you manage? I mean, it's not like she's, uh, how do I say it? She's doing, she, well, originally she did it for us. Like we're in a tough, tough time. We're like, fuck, what can we do? This and that. And we made it only fans just to see what happened. And like, I think the first night you made it, like 30K came in. Mm. I was like, yeah. holy fuck. That's like pretty much our... ATO bill paid. Yeah. So let's fucking turn it up a notch. Yeah. <laughs> we definitely did it at a time of need, didn't we? And we set rules, you know. Mm. Um, no finger bashing yourself. No fucking, you know, said this and that, blah, blah. Don't cross this line. Don't cross that line. And she's pretty much stuck to it. <laughs> pretty much. <laughs> pretty much. So no, nah, I don't get angry. She's good. she's doing it for the right reason. She's you know supporting the fam, putting money in. Um, the highs and lows you guys went through making your first meal and anything you would do different. Um, fuck, <laughs> I would have done a million things different. Different, yeah. Like even remember how it was just me and you picking packing at the start with the snorkels mm. and like. But then we the fucked up. Remember we was... went to the three PL that ripped us. Yeah, true. So, Fuck, that's another story for another time. But a um, few key things that I fucked up when the snorkel launched, I was running complete organic um, sales. Um, I should have patented the product if I could. I don't think the Chinese really care though. They didn't so care. I don't think. Um, but. I was running fully organic sales. I should have learned Facebook ads and just scaled outside of my audience. So what happened is I was selling to my organic audience. In the background, people were making just brand new pages and they learned, they knew Facebook ads. And before you knew it, I was up here doing this and then I'd slowly sold to all of my audience with no new audience. And these guys started down here and now they got a massive audience and they were yeah. out selling. They were like just... People would have made way more off the snorkels than you did. Yeah, yeah. yeah. There was people out there. People have told me that, like, they've come up to me and said that, you know, they've made, they're like, oh, you would have made millions off that. And I'm like, oh, probably like one, one and a half. And they're like, oh, I made more than that. And I'm like, <laughs> <laughs> that's going to hurt. Um, and then, like, the e com side, so the choycandy.com, the uh, ECM label. We got put on to an agency. They're like, yeah, we buy in bulk. We do this. We've got the best fulfillment rates. We've got this, this, this. Ended up just letting them fully run it. And I know everyone says you're an idiot. Like, how did this happen? But they were ordering like 50,000 of every SKU because they were putting money on everything. So they didn't care that it wasn't selling. They were just buying. They were like, they were more sales. Like, they just wanted you to purchase yeah. a lot through them. They and didn't had care no if idea. it moved on your website or not. Where we thought they were there to like build our brand. Yeah, well, that's what they said. And they're like, order what's going to work for our audience. And they didn't care about that at all. Pretty much they didn't know how to sell any of it. They just knew you how had to, to buy order it. it. And it was at an extremely high price yeah i just had full trust got bumped in by a mutual friend um very Not bad that he thing knew. he didn't really like no nah. like he wasn't but anyways it was very bad we probably got ripped about a million dollars on that yeah um so easy come with the snorkels easy go yeah um yeah we've had we've had heaps of stuff just yeah, even fallouts with friends and stuff, like giving them money for stuff or lending money and then just like, you know, whatever, just just have it or do this or just mm. being taken advantage of and whatever. Yeah. Lots of different stuff. Um, holy moly. 
That's we're done. C- we're done. We got through everything. There is one more thing. What? What's your thing? That- oh, so it's like, do you consider it cheating? So I'll like say a scenario and you say if you think it's cheating or not. All right. But and I think we it. answer at the same time. Okay. So then we can't influence each other with the wrong answer. Um, okay. Mm, some of these are a bit like, uh, but whatever. Or just skip the shit ones if you think, or whatever. Yeah, that one's pretty shit. Is it cheating if you share a bed with someone else but don't do anything sexual? One, two, three, cheating. Yes. Oh, yeah. Yeah. Oh, <laughs> Fuck. <laughs> we could really. So we'll say yes or no. Okay. Yes to cheating. Okay. Is watching porn cheating? No. One, oh, yeah, no. No. <laughs> no. I don't think that's cheating. That's very controversial though. A lot of people do consider that cheating. Yeah, I'd be fucked. <laughs> you would be <laughs> fucked if I thought that was cheating. Is sliding into someone else's DMs cheating? One, two, three. Yes. yes. <laughs> <laughs> oh my god! Wait, you wanted to say no. What if you needed, like, what if it was someone who runs, like, hey, I saw you at Channel Nine. Like, you got to be a bit just yeah, a random. Yeah, okay, like, but like, yeah, like if you're asking for like a business, like if it's something to do with like, yeah, okay. But if it's just, oh, like, if it's just random chit chat, it's just start. like responding to like a reaction yeah, okay. to their yep, photo or something. That's yep. that's sliding into the dams in a wrong yeah. way. <laughs> okay. <laughs> Is sitting on someone else's lap cheating? One, two, three. No. no. You always sit on lap. <laughs> I always sit on everyone's lap. As soon as everyone's she's lap. drunk, I just look over and she's just on someone's lap. I'm on everyone's lap. lap. <clears throat> I need to fix my hair though. Sorry. My hair's stuck in it. Sorry. I'm going to have your drink, little bitch. Oh my God, you finished your drink. Mmm. Got lip gloss all over it. Yeah. Um, is it cheating to tweet about something thirsty about a celeb and then at them? One, two, three. No. Yes. Well, not cheating, but I just think that's ick. Oh, that's an ick. That's gross. Yeah, it's not really cheating, hey? I wouldn't say it's cheating. Like if I was like... <laughs> Imagine I just check check Instagram like on your story like mm, Justin Bieber wants to suck you off at Justin Bieber. Yeah, <laughs> like, like, or if, like you were posting a girl and being like, damn, like you're so fire. Like, and at, like I feel like that's a bit like, wow. I don't know. Depends how big the celebrity is. If you, if it's like you know, say they were on tour here, like, and then I'll be like, oh, oh I see, God. you know. Yeah. So I was like, I don't know, not a full hectic celebrity, but just say like, Tiger or like, yeah, someone that he'll, like an he'll artist probably that he's probably gonna play at Juicy yeah. Fest or something. Yeah, I'll be like, oh, little bitch, little bitch. <laughs> um, is it cheating if someone else is obviously flirting with you and you don't tell them you're in a relationship? One, two, three. Yes. yes. <laughs> I don't know. Is it though? You don't want to sound like a wanker. Yeah, you don't want to be like, imagine, I'm in a relationship. Yeah, like if they're not actually flirting with you. you know, like, I just always drop it subtly. Not that it's happened to me, but I notice with me, I bring up it so easily like, oh, my partner has that or my partner's into that. Like it's it's very easy to subtly yeah. drop. Yeah, like, just just suddenly just just drop it. Drop it, yeah. Yeah. Um, <laughs> I don't know how you're going to go with this. If your partner has been in a coma for months and might not wake up, (laughs) would it be cheating to hook up with someone else? One, two, three. Yes. Yes. You want to say no. no. I I know you want to say no. is Is the person in the coma out of action? Obviously. They're in a coma. I mean... You? Like, is there, <laughs> like, is there a like, wall that's locked to get so to them? So, if you were in a coma and then a few months later you woke up and I was like, babe, I'm so sorry. Like, obviously I was out here. Like, I slept with that guy, that guy, that guy. But, like, you were out of action. You would genuinely be like, you know what, fair, babe. No, but if more if you were like, hey, babe, I'm going into a coma. You can still do what you want with me, but I'll be out of action. I wouldn't. <laughs> 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 nah, fuck. How many months in the coma? Three months. <laughs> fuck. <laughs> yeah, I mean, I guess nine would be my limit because that's like a pregnancy. <laughs> <laughs> you know, like nine months, you'd have to make a decision after that. 
Three's like, that's not that long. Oh my God. Um, your partner's socials and their phone is password protect- protected. So like you don't, they refuse to share like all that. One, two, three. No. no. I don't think that's cheating, but I think that's shady. I, yeah, I, we can't relate. Because like, we, we we obviously yeah. have each other's passwords. Like she but checks my shit every day. Just I do not. Nah, like that's what I mean. I can't relate. We never check each other's phones. We don't care. Yeah. We don't. Not that we don't care, but we obviously trust each other. But if you were full on, like, never let me have your code, I would be wanting to check your phone 24-7. Because <laughs> I'd be like, you are being shady. So maybe it's a decoy how easy I let you check my phone. Yeah, maybe I should start checking it. <laughs> Might do that. Um, your partner has lots of friends and they party often. That's obviously not oh, Like if you're going out with your friends that party often, I think. Yeah. No, that's not cheating. No. It would be annoying. Like if you were constantly like, I'm going out every single weekend and I'll be like, okay, cool. Me yeah. and Saint will just kick it. <laughs> yeah. That would be annoying. Yeah, I, I think it would be annoying if you were going to, like, say, nightclubs every Friday night. Yeah, imagine that. I think, like, you'd have to break down, like, why do you want to go to the nightclub, right? It's your friend's birthday, I can see that, but if it's every weekend, it's not your friend's birthday. So, like, why are you going? Like, there's, yeah, there's something there's, to it. Yeah, I don't, I don't like it. I don't like it. I don't um, like it. Is it cheating if your partner likes a girl's, girls or boys' Instagram photo? So, opposite sex. If they're just a random person. Yeah. All right, ready? Oh, One, two, two three. three. Cheating. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah, I was going to say yes. <laughs> yes. But if they're like famous or whatever, I don't think it, it doesn't matter. Nah, but if it's like full on random and like, if I see you, f- like if it's someone, girls we know, obviously completely different, but mm. like if it's like a random girl and I see you liking every single one of her photos, I'd be like, you're trying to oh. get, you're trying to get her yeah. attention. Yeah. Like, if it was a random one on the Explore page of, like, if she was with a car, maybe, I'd be like, well, obviously, that's fine. Yeah, but it's fine. like an actual bit of yeah. thought behind the photo. It's yeah. Like, cool photo, yeah. Note, find cool photo <laughs> chicks. <laughs> <laughs> oh, my God. Um, that was it. Oh. Do you have any questions? No. That, that's your department. That was it. How was it being my first guess? It was great. You love it? Yeah. You got anything you want to say? Close it off. Follow you at Anita Casson. Sub to her OnlyFans. Sub. There's a paid and a free. Is there still a free? Yeah. I mainly just use my paid though. Huh. Um, anything else? That's it. Thanks for having me. <laughs> All right. Thanks, guys. Cheers. Thanks. Bye. <laughs>